Hello guys, today we are going to be doing cuticle work. How to not flood with the acrylic or the polish and how to get that nice clean look around the cuticles, which a lot of people struggle with, so no judgment. Um, it takes a while to master it. Um, just a couple of couple of quick and easy ways that you can you can get them looking better. So what you're going to need is, you know, your cuticle oil for at the end. I like the, the Glam Trap House because it's got gold flakes in it, which exfoliate and help get rid of some of that dead skin and build up around there. Um, also, it's got a bunch of other stuff in it that it's really nice. I love it. It like heals up my cracks and stuff. You're going to need your cuticle pusher, um, your cuticle bits, whatever that may look like for you. Uh, I prefer my red iguana needle bit. Um, I also have a ceramic bit and a ball bit. We're going to go over all of those. A buffer for the dead skin. So basically, you're going to start with pushing your cuticles back. Um, I'm doing my nails today, so I figured it was a good time to, to, to show this. Um, so you're going to want to get all the skin back off of your nails. Um, if it's not, when you lay the acrylic and the acrylic attaches to that skin that's pushed down onto your nail, that skin holds oil, which is meant to feed, you know, your nails. And that oil is what causes lifting. It causes the acrylic to detach once the oil seeps back into it because it's on that skin. So you want to make sure all that dead skin is pushed away and then I'm going to show you how to remove it safely. We don't do Russian manicures around here that is not safe and it's illegal in a lot of, it's not legal in a lot of places either. So, you know, ick. Um, I don't like to use cuticle nippers because it's just, it's not super safe and, you know, why do it if you don't have to? Now, if you're the type of person that has a lot of dead skin and you're working on yourself, by all means, go for it. I, I just don't do it. So, so you want to make sure that you push all that back and it's all disconnected from your nail bed. And be very careful, obviously. You don't want to cut yourself. You don't want to cut your cuticles because then you're going to have problems when you go away acrylic. Blood is not friendly to acrylic. You just want to make sure it's all nice and pushed back, and if you have a lot of dead skin sitting on your nail bed, just scrape it with the cuticle pusher. Like when you push back, just kind of scrape it down like that. Now, after you've done that, you're going to use your cuticle bits. Most people use the ball bits because they're the safest, and they give you a nice, clean, round edge without hurting you. Uh, like, if you leave it in one place too long, it is going to get hot. It's going to heat up, just like with anything else. But when it touches the skin, it won't tear or rip or stab or whatever. Um, I prefer my red iguana needle bit, but that's just me, just because I have practice with it. Uh, if you're just starting, I suggest the ball bits just because they're safe and they do the job. So you're going to want to have your drill turned down, way down, like 5,000 RPM, super low. Some people actually use uh, the barrel bits with the safety end for this as well, because you just go right up to the cuticle and it doesn't... You know, it basically chews up all that dead skin without hurting you. So that's also another option. Uh, as far as the ball bit, basically all you're going to do is sweep it across the cuticle. Now what that's going to do is pick up any dead skin right up to the cuticle and kind of brush it away. But it's pushing up to your cuticle and not onto it. But if you do get it on it, no big deal. It's not going to hurt you unless you leave it there. Then it'll get hot. So... Basically, you're just going to sweep it around, all the way around, and it's going to detach any dead skin that's still attached to your nail bed. You want to make sure you pull the skin back and get in there because there's, there's the stuff you can't see very well, too. So you want to make sure you're pulling that back, like so. Same thing, you're just going to sweep it back and forth and make sure you come down on your sidewalls. A lot of people forget their sidewalls, but... You got cuticle there too. So sweep it back and forth and push it up into there to make sure you get anything that's still attached. And it just gets rid of all, it's so satisfying. It gets rid of all the junk and crap that's kind of built up there, especially if you just took a set off because you can have acrylic, polish, whatever up under your cuticles and not even know it. And it pulls it all out. Okay, so ball bit, super safe, super easy, and it gives you that nice rounded edge. Now, I also have here, this is called a flame bit. Uh, it's not necessarily a cuticle bit, but it works the same. So same thing. You're just going to take that up here and just sweep it back and forth and kind of push it up under that skin. Not too far. You don't want to hurt yourself because this is not a safety bit and it will hurt you. So, but 
again, it's ceramic, so it's not too bad. And the end of it is not spiked, so it's not going to hurt you too badly as long as you don't leave it on the skin, same as the other one. So you're just going to sweep that back and forth and kind of flatten it out onto the nail bed, and that's going to get anything that's left on there or any, you know, extras. You see how much extra I missed with that ball bit? And that's all stuff that will cause lifting that you're seeing coming out of there. My cuticles get super heavy, so this is absolutely necessary for me. All right, same thing. This one looks clean. And then once I go back over it, there's stuff that I miss. So that's why I tend to not do the ball bit. However, the ball bit is enough. I'm just super picky. So now we're just gonna do all of those, clean them up really nice. And you don't wanna spend, like you don't wanna beat it to death. You know, just make sure all that dead skin, like right in here where it's connected, and that will just pull it away. Now, let's go over the other cuticle bit. <clears throat> this one is my favorite. This one is pretty wicked looking. Um, it looks like a screwdriver, <laughs> uh, a driver bit. So this one you can actually get underneath, which I don't recommend if you're just beginning because you could really hurt yourself. But this one gets down into all those crevices. And you can actually push the cuticle back a little bit further than you normally would. Which gives you more nail bed to work with, which means your acrylic is going to stick better because more of it is touching the actual nail. And the more acrylic you have on the nail bed, the longer they're going to last. Okay. Now, <clears throat> after that, what you want to do is take your buffing block. And now, you don't want to use this corner because this can hurt your skin when you run it across. You want to use this side and use, try to use the fine, the finer side of your buffing block. And you just want to kind of run it back and forth. Like, again, don't run this part on your skin or it's going to hurt. So you just want to kind of run it back and forth and get any leftover debris. Run it down along the sides. And get anything else that, that you know, the, the cuticle bits may have missed because they only go up around the center. And then you just want to buff really good. That's also going to help prevent lifting. You want to scratch up the nail surface so that the acrylic has, you know, stuff to stick to, grooves or whatever. So sponge side facing you or however you choose to buff. If you use a sanding band, whatever, just make sure that you clean up and get that, see the extra little bits that the cuticle bit pulled off, but it didn't completely remove it. So make sure you get down into the sidewalls because you can lift there too. So just give it a nice U shape. And again, you want to pull that skin back to make sure that you're getting down in there. Now, they look much, much cleaner than they did when I started, like my cuticles do. I mean, they're pretty beat up because my cuticles are always pretty beat up, but as far as my nail beds go, they look pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish buffing. Before I put my tips on. So another thing that's gonna help prevent lifting is, and with your cuticles actually for your sidewalls because I know a lot of people struggle with their nails looking fat right here where the sidewall or where the the nail bed meets the free edge so one thing that I wanted to go over really quick when you go to put <clears throat> your nail on after when you're blending it you want to take a peek at these corners right here let me show you real quick what I'm talking about Whoop. Did I kill my glue? I think I killed my glue. Yep, probably. Okay, so. <laughs> you don't need a ton of glue for your tips. You just need enough to hold it on while you get the acrylic because the glue is not what's doing the work for you. The acrylic is. So, you're going to get your tip on there and then I'll show you what I'm talking about. Make sure it's on straight. And you want to make sure that that tip goes from sidewall to sidewall. You don't want to leave any space between the tip and your sidewall. You want it to come, 
even if it has to overlap a little bit because we can take care of that. So now I'm going to blend it and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Now, when you go to, oops, can you use that one? When you go to blend it, move up a little closer here. You see where these corners are? That's going to give you somewhat of that fat appearance. So just as you're blending it, kind of take those corners off. So you can see how I removed that one. I'm going to remove this one too. I'm just using my drill to just take the very, very edge of the corner off so that I don't have that overhang right there. Now, what that's going to do is when I lay my acrylic, I'm not pulling my acrylic all the way down that corner and then onto here. It's going to have a nice clean line. So let's go ahead and do our blending really quick. Now I am going to put my tips on and cut them down and file them. And then we are going to come back and I'm going to show you how to lay acrylic without flooding your cuticle. All right, guys, we are back. Finished up my right hand. Now, so where you really want to start your cuticle work is with your clear, because you always lay down that clear base to keep your nail beds from staining and to give it strength. So when you go to lay down that first clear layer, you want it to be super thin and you don't want to take it all the way up to the cuticle. Otherwise, when you lay your color and then your next layer of clear, it's going to be super chunky right there. So what you want to do is start down from the cuticle and work it up but not quite to the cuticle you know so that way when you go to lay your color and your second layer of clear you can make it flush back here and seal it around the cuticle you say I feel like I'm saying cuticle a lot um, so basically you don't want to go all the way up and you want to make sure that it's super thin and that's going to help you keep that cuticle nice and clean and flush okay cuticle 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 Ooh, my bee was a little too dry so you basically want to push that down and make sure it's completely flush against your nail bed Like my layer's just a little too thick, but that's okay, because my bead was super dry, so I wasn't able to move it down quick enough. But that's okay, because you can't see this one. So, like I said, you want to make sure you're not going all the way up, and make sure it's nice and flat and flush back here. That way, when you go to put your color, you're not stacking it up near your cuticle, you know, because that's going to give you, that's going to make it lay on top of your cuticle and make it kind of raised and chunky and that's when you end up with lifting. One of the reasons you end up with lifting, there are many, many, many reasons. So you're gonna to wanna to start with your clear. It starts like at the foundation. All right, so I'm gonna use a slightly wetter bead this time and show you a better way. Again, we're gonna lay it down from the cuticle and just push just the thinnest little layer of it up there. And then we're gonna pull that down. That was much better. And we're just going to push it slightly up, almost to the cuticle, but not quite. And make sure that we're brushing that down and making sure it's nice and flat and flush with the nail bed up there. That way when you go to seal it, you're not drilling through five layers of, of acrylic, you know. Sorry, I have to move my hand around a lot when I do my own. And you can do like literally a super, super thin layer here, almost like you're almost like polish because it, it's it's just for structure and strength and to protect your nail beds from staining. So it doesn't have to be 
There doesn't have to be a ton of acrylic right here. So I'll go ahead and do this and then we will go back and apply the color and then the second layer of clear and you guys can get a good idea of what I'm talking about. And then I'll show you how to seal it to prevent lifting there too and give you that nice, nice clean look. Make sure you pat it super flat right there. You almost want it to look like there's no acrylic at all up there. Because there really doesn't need to be much at all. And we're going to give you a, like a closer look up here. So you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Here, let's try it with the pinky up close. All right, so lay your bead down this way. I'm a mess, don't mind me. Now, right here at the edge, just push it ever so slightly up and then pull it back down. And that gives you your thin layer of clear. and keeps it from causing flooding on your cuticle. See how there's that ring without anything on it? That's what you want right there, and you wanna make sure it's nice and flat. There we go. All right, let's wrap this part up. Having a little sidewall trouble tonight. Probably because I didn't do stiletto this time. It's been a while since I've done another kind, so you don't, I don't have as much trouble with it there. And don't mind my right hand. I haven't filed it yet. <laughs> Missed the spot. Actually, let's go ahead and look at that thumb. So you can kind of see where I put the clear. See how you can see just a little bit of my nail bed up there? That's what you want. All right, so now these fingers are dry. We are going to go ahead and add our color. Using, uh, it's a mix of Send Nudes and Beige Baby to, to give me like a, a nice nude. Just a nice, clean, subtle nude. That's it. It's a little, little, little normal plain for me, but I like it. All right, we're going to start with the thumb. We're going to move in just a little bit closer. Okay. Now, so you're going to want to start down a little lower, and that's going to help. Um, you don't want to start too high up on your nail and not be able to work that bead and then end up with flooding. So you want to keep the nail pointed down. That's your, Honestly, that is your biggest, biggest help in not flooding your cuticle is keep that finger pointed down. And that's going to keep that, let gravity do the work and keep it away from your cuticle. So you basically want to get the bottom part of your nail done first, and then we're going to move up. And then it'll blend as we go down. Now grab your second bead, basically the body. This is going to be the body of your nail. And you're going to lay that right on top, but still not quite at the cuticle, just like two thirds of your nail bed. And then just blend that down. I 
I know this has nothing to do with the cuticle, but we got to do this to get there, so, you know. Missed a couple spots. I am having the worst luck tonight. Like, put all my tips on, broke them all off. <laughs> it's been a mess. All right, now, cuticle bead. So you're gonna wanna get a small bead and you're gonna wanna bleed it out. Basically drain it on the paper towel. Then with the nail pointed down, you're gonna lay it right on top of that other bead. Spread it out all the way across. And then we're gonna push it up. Push it up and flatten it against the back of your nail so that it's flush, just like I showed you with the clear, and then pull it down. Because you don't want it, you don't want a layer of color by your cuticle. You just want the very thinnest little bit, just enough to cover it with color so that it, it naturally slopes down into the nail and is flush with it. Now I might need just a little bit more color. So again, drain that bead. And there we go. You see how it's nice and flush right here? So when we go to put our clear on top of it, it's not going to be raised and touching the cuticle, but I'm not flooded. I have a nice little bit of space back there that I can still work with and everything's nice and flat. Yeah. Now we'll do one more and then I'll finish up and come back and we'll go over the clear so you can see what to do there. All right, grab your bead. Starting at the bottom, working your way up. Now our second bead, not quite to the cuticle up there, but not quite. And you, again, you wanna taper that up so that when you go to lay your cuticle bead, there's not a big ledge or shelf right there for it to sit on. This was a little bit big. That's okay. Blend that down. Don't be messy like me. See, I have the attitude, eh, I'll fix it with my file which is not good. That's what makes you, it makes your application take so much longer if you're filing forever afterwards. So you want to get that application down as smooth as you can. Don't be lazy like me. All right, <clears throat> now, cuticle bead. Make sure your brush is nice and flat. Grab that bead, and we're gonna drain it. And then we're gonna lay it right on top of here, not quite to the cuticle. Spread it all the way across so that you get nice, even coverage. Now we're just gonna push it up. And use your brush to kind of guard it against the cuticle so that the acrylic isn't actually touching. And again, make sure it's nice and flush. Pull it down, pull it away. And make sure that it's laying flat at the back of the nail. And keep that finger pointed down. There we go. Oh, sorry, look at it up close. See how I still have that little tiny gap right there? 
Oh, well, that's nude. You're not going <laughs> to that's not going to help. There you go. You can still see I have the tiniest little bit of nail bed. And when we fill that in with our color, that's going to fill in. Or when we fill it in with our clear, that's going to kind of reflect that and fill in that little space. But see how there's nothing on my cuticle? There we go. Oh, I touched it. I touched it. All right, so I'm going to finish these up, and then we'll be back to put our clear down. All right, so now we let our nude dry. We are going to go ahead and use our clear. I'm using Young Nails Core Pink. Um, what it is is clear with just a tint of pink to it. And I kind of like to use that for capping because, just like I do with ombre, because it kind of smooths everything out and gives it a nice even color. And sometimes when you're using sheer colors, it can be kind of wobbly. And I mix this myself, which is not great. <laughs> I'm not great at it. So I like to use that just to kind of give everything a nice even tone and it hides any blemishes, like kind of like a magic eraser for acrylic. I really, really like it. Okay, now, so what you're gonna do when you're capping, same thing, uh, start down a little ways and put your layer of clear over, not quite to the cuticle. Because we're doing a thin layer. Make sure it's nice and flat before we go back to add that cuticle bead. Now, if you can do this in one bead, cool. I am not that comfortable yet. So I usually do two. Eh, I guess on the smaller ones, I do one. Now, you want to take your cuticle bead. Again, we're going to drain it on our paper towel, get it a little dry. Same thing. Set it right by the cuticle, not near it down a little bit from it and use your brush to kind of guide it up there keeping your brush between the cuticle and the clear and then brush it down and you want to use your brush kind of like a spatula make sure it's nice and flat right there and flush and that's going to keep it from that's going to help you seal that back end and keep it from lifting too so we're making sure everything's nice and flat back there and even with your nail bed We're going to do it on one more, just real quick, and then we're going to come back and I'll show you how to seal it with the ball bit. Which, again, sealing it is super important for lifting. But anyway, I digress. Let's do the thumb. All right. Slightly bigger bead this time since it's my thumb. And when I'm capping, I like to do them a little wetter because I'm not putting a huge layer on and I want it to be able to move down the nail easily. But that's just me. Just gonna blend that down. Make sure everything's covered and we need this clear layer for strength because colored acrylic is weak. So the clear is what keeps it from breaking and, you know, all that. I know, I'm a mess. Don't do what I do. See, this time I'm going to use three beads. Anywho, and once you've got that, go back and get your cuticle bead again. Drain that a little bit so it dries it out, because otherwise if it's wet, it's going to run up to the cuticle, gravity or not. So... I'm going to lay it down almost to the cuticle, spread that out, keep it away from the cuticle while you do this. Spread it out so it's nice and even. And then use your brush like a spatula to push it up but not too. And then pull it down. Up, oh, flatten it out, pull it down. Flatten it out, pull it down. You get the idea. Pull it up, pull it down. So basically, we're just going to push it up, pull it down. And that'll also help build your apex, layering those beads like that. And you, you can always run your brush along there too to make sure you didn't use your brush kind of like a spatula. Ooh, mine does not want to flatten out today. Use your brush like a spatula and run it between your cuticle and your acrylic to just make sure everything's nice and separate and that'll flatten it out and give it that nice flush. 
There we go. All right, so I'm going to finish capping these, and then we are going to cover sealing. All right. Now, I've done most of my hand filing. What I haven't done was seal the back, which is what we're going to do now, right up close. So, again, on a low RPM, you're going to take that ball bit, and again, you're just going to run it along the back. So what you're trying to do is create a flush level surface back here so that it actually ends in your nail bed so that there's no acrylic near your cuticle. So you're just going to run it all the way around with that ball bit and seal that. Well, that's what that's called. And you're going to do that for every nail. And then once you're done, you're going to buff it so that there's not like a ridge or anything there. But basically all you're doing is flushing it out. And you can use a smaller bit than I'm using. You just want to make sure that you're touching the entire surface all the way around and sealing that. But it will create somewhat of a ridge right there. So what you want to do is either buff that ridge out or, you know, use a different bit to kind of smooth it. Like I'm going to do here. Just going to run it along the back and kind of smooth out that little corner or ridge that was right there. Because this is a safety bit, so I can do that. And that gives me a nice flush surface. And that's going to help prevent a lot of lifting. Because you can see that acrylic is attached to nothing but the nail bed. No cuticle, no nothing. And we know that it's nice and flat and even on the nail bed all the way around. Now real quick, I'm going to wipe this down in acetone, and then we're going to go over gel polish real quick. I'm going to top coat so that you can see, I'm going to go over not flooding at that step either. So now that we're going to wipe it down in acetone, get all that dust off, smooth out the surface. Now, you can see up close how clean it is around my cuticles. Which I'm a big fan of. See how you can kind of see just a little bit of my natural nail around the edges. So, no flooding whatsoever, which means I'm not as likely to have lifting there. All right. Now, top coat, because I like them shiny. Oh, where's my top coat? Okay. There we go. I like to use Mark Art No Wipe type top coat, but you do you. Now, same thing. We're going to point the finger down. You're going to come up by your cuticle, and then push up and pull down. Over. And, oh, oh that is way too much. So push up, pull down. You don't want to start your brush up here. You want to push it up there and pull it down. With your finger pointing down, let gravity do that work for you. And that's going to keep you from flooding with polish. Well, let's go ahead and cure that and we'll take an up close look. Oh, let's do this. All right. And there we are. We have no flooding, everything's nice and flush and even, and that's going to help prevent a lot of lifting. 
So if you guys have any questions, don't forget to ask, comment down below, contact me directly, whatever you want to do. Uh, we got our next big giveaway coming up at 500 subscribers, so don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe to be entered. And this, the more people that subscribe, the sooner we get there. Um, and as always, thank you for watching.